how incremental static regeneration works in the Next.js app router. By default, Next.js renders and caches pages at compile time whenever possible. This is why even though this API returns a random joke when we build the project and run it and refresh the page, we always get the same joke. To opt out of static caching, we can pass a configuration object to the fetch function, where we set cache to no store and now every time we refresh the page, we get a new joke. However, there is also a middle way. We can pass this next object to the fetch function, where we can set revalidate to a number of seconds. And now for five seconds, we will get our statically cached page and after five seconds have passed and we refresh the page again, we get a new joke. If you are not using the fetch function, but for example, an ORM or something like Axios, then you can use a routed segment config instead by exporting a const revalidate again with the number of seconds. Instead of waiting a certain time, we can also revalidate a static page on demand by calling revalidate path in a server endpoint of our Next.js app. Now, every time we call this endpoint, we clear our cache and get a new page, which again is statically cached until the next time we revalidate this page. You can call this endpoint via a webhook, for example, when you make changes in a content management system. And if you are a Next.js developer, pay close attention now because this is 